Listen very carefully to Jennifer Lopez or J-Lo. Many of you adore that woman. What she is about to speak, many of you are going to undermine and you're going to see nothing significant about her speech. However, you have every reason to be concerned by what she says because these are cryptic words. Listen carefully. I will never forget my first Grammy nomination or the dress I wore that night. But, <laughs> yes. But this night is not about dresses or even awards. It is about the music, the words, and the voices. How they move us and inspire us and touch all of our lives. At this particular point in history, our voices are needed more than ever. As Toni Morrison once said, this is precisely the time when artists go to work. There is no time for despair, no place for self-pity, no need for silence, and no room for fear. We do language. That is how civilizations heal. So tonight, we celebrate our most universal language, music. As, as we honor the voices of the past and the present, here's to the new voices. The first thing I'm going to bring to your attention and let you know is the very obvious. First make note, Jennifer Lopez is not stupid. She's not a stupid woman, no. She's a very intelligent woman. But make careful note of this observation. She is speaking to an audience which are primarily devil worshippers. She is speaking to fellow comrades. This is a message specifically made specific for the audience. The audience is primarily a pagan audience. If you carefully observe Jennifer Lopez's words, she is targeting that specific audience in front of her, her fellow comrades, and urging them to make a stand against an upcoming threat to them. Listen carefully, she says at this particular time in history, our voices are needed more than ever. First, there must be a message associated with their voices. Then we have to ask the question, what has their voices done for society? Has Jennifer Lopez's voice benefited society by making people think cleverly? Has Beyonce's voice benefited society and pushed a positive message upon the young people and actually made them better themselves? Has Lady Gaga's voice benefited society and actually changed people to become more moral? Has Rihanna benefited? You get the message, you get the idea, you get what I'm trying to say. They know very well what their voices are doing. They know that their voices are pushing immorality to new heights and they know that they are pushing the agenda of the occult and they are pushing new age doctrines of devils upon the masses yet she is declaring there has never been a time in which their voices are needed even more if you pay close attention and you know about hollywood and the secret societies you know that their primary agenda is to push satanic doctrines and push the new age philosophies upon the mass public and also last time i checked j-lo promotes harlotry by dressing up as a harlot in most of her performances. This is no different than any of these other celebrities. All these people are promoting garbage. As Toni Morrison once said, this is precisely the time when artists go to work. There is no time for despair, no place for self- Did you hear that? As Toni Morrison once said, this is precisely the time when artists go to work. This is the sound of desperation. This is the sound of a declaration of war against something. In other words, there is a war for your minds. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, I hope you know it by now. There is a war being fought for your mind. A spiritual war. And these people are playing advocates of the devil. Jennifer Lopez is a part of the deception. Dear Jennifer Lopez or JLo, 
If ever there was a time in history in which you are irrelevant, it's now. If ever there was a time in history in which all of Hollywood's devil-worshipping buffoons are to be silenced and to be recognized as the irrelevant ones of society, now is the time. Of course, we are clever enough and intelligent enough to know that these people are not going anywhere. Why? Because they are too close. They kiss each other. They intermingle themselves as one with the rulers of the media. The media is on their side. Hollywood, its rulers are on their side. They are together. They are like lovers. So don't expect these Satanists to go anywhere anytime soon. They're not going to leave the spotlight until Jesus Christ comes and puts an end to the corruption and to the sin. Remember, the knowledge of sin only continues to grow. These devil worshippers, these Hollywood celebrities and musicians and all the garbage people, artists, all they are going to do is continue to further their agenda of pushing satanic doctrines. What Jennifer Lopez was declaring is simply, she is talking to her fellow comrades, her fellow Satanists, if you will. Telling them or trying to give them the, uh, trying to add the fuel to the fire to, to, in, to keep the flame burning. And that flame is simply to keep them moving, to keep them, that's what she's trying to push. And what's their mission? Their mission is primarily to promote the spirit of Antichrist, which is after destroying the word of God, getting rid of the gospel, getting rid of anything that has to do with morality, and destroying the divinity of Jesus Christ, attacking anything that has to do with the living God. That's what their mission is. It's not for entertainment's sake, just to... Do you honestly think that that's... <laughs> Do you honestly think that that's what it's all about? That they're simply just entertaining you because they love to entertain you? No. I've told you before. When you go to the live performances of these people, you are simply the congregation and they are the ministers. But they're ministers of darkness. They're not ministering to you any truth. No. They're ministering to you doctrines of demons, controlling your mind in a way brainwashing your mind and preparing you for the next for the for the next stage of history ladies and gentlemen don't buy into this garbage these people are irrelevant don't fall for them don't even listen to don't even buy their music don't even listen to them they're garbage all they're going to do all they're after is pushing their doctrine their satanic doctrines upon you ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in and for joining me this is the controversy 7 if this is your first time tuning in, be sure to subscribe and feel free to share this video because you never know who you will reach. And also you can feel free to, feel free to join me on Facebook. My link is in the video description box. You take care of yourselves, you be safe, and I will see you guys next time.